What's going on you guys? Gaming Addict here. These are the top 5 reasons why I have an Xbox One. Enjoy the video. Coming at number 5 is the Xbox One controller. I feel like it's a very well made controller and you know since I'm a bigger guy it kind of fits my hand pretty well. For the most part the DualShock I don't like how the analogs are so close to each other. I feel like it feels weird playing first person shooters. And you know the Xbox One controller Microsoft has been very supportive to making the features better, you know the grips, they've been enhancing the controller in general like the Elite controller, you know it might be a little bit more money but a lot of people consider the Elite controller the best controller on the market by far. So number 5 has to be the controller of the Xbox is one of the reasons why I play Xbox One as my primary console. Captain, wake up, something has happened. My second reason, I feel like it's got to be, you know, services. For the most part, services on Xbox always been flawless. They do have their hiccups like every other, you know, service provider that you possibly can have. But, you know, I feel like for the most part, you know, the services that, that they offer, it... It's very reliable and you know especially customer service have any of you guys ever try to call customer service on Xbox for the most part they're always extremely helpful sometimes they try to give you shit for no reason and you know a lot of that you could argue is because they're in second place and I couldn't I couldn't really fault you for saying something like that but my fourth reason would definitely be the you know the service of of Xbox Live in general and how reliable it can be at most times. My third reason why I primary game on Xbox and I know a lot of you are probably going to be very confused by this one and I feel like it has to be the games and you know I know a lot of you are like why are you you know boosting the games it's not like they have any you know they got Halo Gears and Forza and to a point that's that's really all they have is Halo Gears and Forza but the thing that I'm saying is you know I'm primarily you know a multiplayer gamer I do and on occasion I will play you know single player games you know I, I like The Witcher I like to play Fallout you know I'm a, I did play a lot of ReCore and you know if you want to play that single orientated game orientated game PlayStation's your place to go by far but you know I've had a blast playing Halo Wars and I know a lot of you probably don't really even know what Halo Wars is but it's an RTS you know I love the the Halo first person shooter franchise I'm more of a multiplayer person and I feel like if you're a multiplayer person the console for you is you know it's Xbox and you know a lot of people will say well you know if you go on PlayStation you can play third party uh, you know multiplayer games and I completely agree with that but I feel like that you know you can't have it both ways you know if you're gonna go at Sony at uh, Microsoft for not having first uh, not okay. you're gonna go at Microsoft for not having single or story oriented games you kind of have to go after Sony for not having multiplayer games but that's just my opinion so with that being said my third reason for owning an Xbox primary console is for the games and they tried to banish him. so a lot of you are probably confused by this next one and it's that my second re my second reason I have an Xbox it's not games it's you know the features that the Xbox one comes with now that doesn't say that you know games isn't just as important as features to me I just felt like you know features enhance your gaming experience so I felt like you know they're hand in hand so at any time I could have games a second and you know features at third or you know features at second and games at third so with that being said it's just like I said you know there's some really good features that is only on Xbox like well it's not necessarily only on Xbox PlayStation's got some features that I really really enjoy like the uh, you know take the control over one of your friends and I'm really annoyed with Microsoft that they don't let you stream straight to YouTube I feel like that's kind of silly but you know they got stuff like you know 
the party system looking for group where you can you know it's integrated into the system as you can see down here there's people looking you know I could click on any of these and go straight into their stuff you know if I click I'm interested it tells them a notification that yo I kind of want to join your shit so you know I really enjoy that and then let's not to mention you know probably one of the best features that Xbox has and you know it's it's 360 games you know, I know a lot of people feel like, you know, 360 games who plays, who buys new hardware for old consoles, but look at Crash Bandicoot and how well it's sold. People care about older games. It does matter. So I do feel like that that is accountable, that something needs to happen. And I feel like PlayStation needs to have that fire put up under their ass for that backwards compatible library. But, you know, that's just me. And I'm not saying that, you know, Sony isn't up to date with the majority of their features because they are. There's very few features that Microsoft has that Sony doesn't have. But I feel like when you can't even change your gamer tag or your PSN account, that's a problem. On to the next one. So this is the number one reason that I have an Xbox you know over a PlayStation is my primary console and you know a lot of you probably ain't gonna understand this I know you know the logical people will understand this and that's that's where my friends are you know when it comes down to it I've been in this ecosystem for like the past 15 years well maybe not 15 maybe like around 10 to 11 and I've acquired all these friends for the past for for a decade and I feel like that means something that's one of those things to where you know it's hard to go to another, you know, competing platform as your primary gaming system when you really don't know anyone over there. And I know I could get friends over there, but when you've been on a platform as long as I've been on Xbox, it's kind of hard to look at another platform as your primary gaming system when you're like, I can't play with the people I've been playing with for years. And that's a huge issue to me. And it, it definitely is. I just feel like, you know, even... Even if you could, you know, play with my friends on Xbox over there on uh, PlayStation, you know, that might level the playing field a little bit. But, you know, once again, the controller. I can't mess with that controller. And, you know, a lot of people come at me on, you know, I'm a huge Destiny fan. And they say, why do you play Destiny on Xbox when you can play it on PlayStation? It's my friends. It's my, it's my clan. I can't play Destiny with random people on PlayStation. I have to play with my clan, the people I've been playing Destiny with since day one. And that's the reason, that's the primary focus that I can obviously tell you guys is, you know, it's your friends, go where your friends are. But you know, besides that, I can't really go on about, you know, where you guys should play your games. You know, it could easily change. Let me repeat that. It could easily change, you know, when it comes to anything of, you know, the, the games, the features, the controller, you know, they're both, they both have solid platform games. They both had solid foundation games. I would say right now, you know, Sony didn't appeal to me when it come to the game side for like the first two or three years, but now they are. And that's why I'm going to get a PlayStation this holiday. But, you know, it's like I said, regardless what PlayStation shows, these are the reasons why I can't really go over there on a full-time basics and play games over there like that. But tell me what you guys think. Tell me in the description, you know, have you ever jumped platforms, you know, five, six years into a, into, you know, a platform that you've been playing for the longest time? Tell me how kind of, you know, transition was that? Tell me in the comment section. I'd love to hear it. This is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace.